Hey guys, welcome back to the other side of the coin. Now, wow, is there a bigger game than this? I know the last one against Man United took us to the finals of the FA Cup, but for me, honestly, that's fantastic, of course. But winning this next match against Liverpool is huge because it allows us to qualify for Champions League straight away. For me, that's a far bigger competition out there. And for the likes of Ziyech, Werner, and hopefully Kai Vets very, very soon, and all the other players that we're possibly going to get during this uh, upcoming transfer window, you know, this is going to mean massive. And a club like Chelsea has to be in Champions League. You know, we cannot not be in the Champions League. So, you know, very soon, tomorrow, you know, tomorrow my time in Sydney, but in UK time it'll be today, the big match against Liverpool. Liverpool, to be honest, you know, they don't really have much to play for here. They're already the champion, so they don't really need to worry about here. But for us, we've got two more games, Liverpool and Wolves in the Premier League. We win any one of them, we are through. Because Leicester only have one more match, and that match is against Man United. And someone's got to give over there. So, And you know they're fourth and fifth, respect, uh, respectively. So for us, you know, this is so crucial. I mean, if the players... if if they just get it through their head, I suppose that get a win here and we're straight through the Champions League. We don't have to worry about the Wolves game and the Wolves game be just, you know, a practice session, to be honest. I just hope our players come out you know, knowing this is like a Champions League final. Get out there, put massive, massive pressure on Liverpool. And, and as I said, you know, I'd, look, Liverpool definitely wouldn't want to lose. You know, they've lost against us previously in the FA Cup. So they they probably will come out and try to be as decent as they can but if we can you know show that intense energy that pressure that pressing from the beginning from from the get-go if we have our attitude right you now we can get a victory and it's so crucial we get a victory so you know i'm gonna get to the lineups down the track but i think i think we as a fan base understand how massive this is and i hope that the players understand as well i'm sure they do you know what a monumental win and, and, and situation this is going to be if we end up going through, win the match and go through in the Champions League. You know, looking back at this season, Frank taking over in this season, in his first season, in a rookie season, to be honest, his first proper season in the Premier League as a manager. And, you know, transfer ban, no Eden Hazard, you know, relying on youth, uh, the youth academy, you know, relying on our existing experienced players who are, you know, I wouldn't say they hurt their peak either. And, you know, with all the injuries that's happened as well throughout the season, this is massive, massive accomplishment from Frank and the team itself. Everyone involved in the club, you know, if we get through to the Champions we've already been to the FA Cup final, as I said. Um, you know, obviously we've got a match against uh, Bayern Munich to come in the Champions League. I, I know we're most likely out from there, but you can never rule anything out. But, you know, Overall, it's been such a phenomenal season. Yes, there's been issues against teams that have had to, you know, that set back. Defensively, we've had issues as well. Yeah, but overall, the way I look at Frank as a manager and our team, it's been a fantastic achievement, I'd say. You know, to be in the you know, top four at this time and have the ability to go through in the Champions League with one win to go off two matches, this is just fantastic. So... Yeah, and, and all the players that we've just brought in as well, Ziyech, Werner, and hopefully Kai Vets soon as well, you know, it just shows what a phenomenal season this has been. And, you know, this would be the biggest cherry on top of the hugest cake this season. So, yeah, guys, look, let me know what your thoughts are, how you feel about this match. I'm going to look into the formation. Stay tuned for that. And uh, at the end of the video, let me know what you think. Hey, guys. As mentioned, let's get stuck into the formation and lineups and whatnot. First of all, I want to look into this whole 3-4-3, which is, seems to be the fan favourite at the moment. Um, as you can see, Kepa in goalkeeper. The back three, uh, as you were, you know, Asper the Quetta, Zuma, Rudiger, Zuma, Rudiger could probably change around. Reese James probably far better suited uh, in, a, in a back five, I believe, in recent times. It helps him out in the defensive areas. You know, he can, he can express himself bombing up and, you know, it doesn't really always have to uh, necessarily track back very quickly because Aspilicota can cover these grounds over here. So I can understand why, you know, we, we may offer this uh, because it allows our wing backs to, to be expressive. Alonso on the, on the left wing back, look, 
he's probably the best left wing back in the world at the moment. There's no kidding about it. And uh, that's his natural habitat. And he helps us out, bombs up, he gets into dangerous positions in and around. He helps us out in, you know, when, when there's crosses you know, with his headers or even shooting from long range from this range uh, somewhere around here. He is, he is massive in that perspective. And defensively, once again, just like Reese James, you know, he's far more comfortable in a in a back five because he doesn't have to track back that 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 much. And in a back four, there's there's a lot of running up and down, and it's just not Alonso's game. In the middle, Kovacic and Jorginho, for me, they have to be the the double pivot around here because Liverpool's going to press us. That's their game. They love pressing high up in and around this sort of area. And and for for these two players, you know, they're going to be crucial for us to be press resistant and help us build from the back and then drive the ball through the middle. That's something that Kovacic does perfectly. Jorginho will just one touch pass through any of these players and then help us build from the back. And um, yeah, this is crucial to negate away from Liverpool's um, yeah, massive pressing. The only issue is that I have with, with this sort of formation um, is we're, we're lacking someone in the midfield. And that's where people like Rhys James have really got to help out and Alonso have got to help out because Liverpool will have, if Firmino does start, he's going to drop in, in in the midfield and help out their midfielders and create an overload. So this is crucial that we work really hard and Kovacic and Jorginho with their ability to control the ball and you know with the ball is, is very, very uh, instrumental in this whole piece. Up front, Pulisic and Willian. Willian purely because of his work rate, his ability to track back, help out Reese James, and even Aspilicueta around here. And not just that, even when when you know there's a counter uh, attack opportunity, he can pick up the ball from somewhere here and really drive through, and then link up the play between Pulisic and Giroud. Giroud and Pulisic, you know, this is a big big combination play. Not just in the in the restart that we've seen so far, but you know, in the Super Cup as well, these two were phenomenal together. Uh, Giroud, obviously, with his ability to hold up the play, lay, uh, lay it off will, for either one of these guys or even the midfielders um, is very, very crucial. And even if we want to go route one, Giroud is perfect targetsman. We've already said he's one of the best. So, you know, th- this definitely has some validity to it, I suppose. You know, we've beaten Man United, but at the same time, I don't feel comfortable in the sense that Liverpool doesn't use 3-4-3. We've been far competitive against Liverpool playing 4-3-3 in all of these times. I know Kante was the mainstay in the last game. It was Billy Gilmore. This time, none of them are here. But, you know, as you can see here, we're sacrificing Mason Mount here. Unless you want Mason Mount instead of Pulisic, which then means we're sacrificing in the attack. So this formation always seems to sacrifice someone. And with the likes of Alonso and and Reese James... I don't know how much of a goal threat they are unless and until they become goal threats. This this really, really puts immense pressure on Willian, Pulisic and Drew. And without Mason Mount, there's really no uh, intensity from midfield in terms of pressing, uh, in terms of you know creating that tempo up front and really driving into Liverpool from, from on their half and, and try and you know, knock them out in their in their half, I suppose, you know, taking the ball from them from there, you know, basically defending from the beginning without Mason Mount, none of that really happens. But let me know what your thoughts are in this particular formation. All right, guys, well, this is the 4-3-3 or 4-2-3-1, whatever you want to call it, to be honest. It's three in the midfield. As you can see in this particular formation, you know, I've got Kepa in the back, just like in the other one. Obviously, Kepa's got to start here. Um, Rudiger and Zuma is, uh, are, the, are the two central defenders. Aspilicueta comes in the left back because I don't really trust Emerson or Alonso as left back. Uh, Emerson's not even been in, in, in action, to be honest. I think he's done with Chelsea. And Alonso, as I said uh, previously in the in the 3-4-3 formation, he's not too comfortable defending in this area in the back four, especially when you have the likes of Mo Salah um, and uh, his pace is going to be absolutely eating Alonso up and will leave too much space around here and too much work for Zuma and Rudiger to do. Reese James will stay in right back, knowing that Aspilicueta is playing in, in the left back. We're going to have to need Reese James. And this is where Willian's work rate comes in a lot because if we're going to ask Reese James to bomb up, it leaves a lot of space around here. And then, as you can see, if Rudiger comes around here, it opens up in the middle. So Willian's work rate around this area is going to be massive. 
uh, hence why William starts as well. Reese James, I uh, hope if it is this formation that he switched on defensively as well, which is going to be massive. Kovacic and Jorginho, uh, for similar reasons, playing in the 3-4-3 as well, uh, in the 4-3-3, the same reasons, simply for for the essence of being able to, being able to uh, be press resistant, being able to carry the ball out from these areas when Liverpool do press us, and basically driving through the middle and then linking the play up with the with the with the forward players and and Mason Mount as well. So Mason Mount, the the reason why I want him in this formation is over any other midfielders. I know there's shouts from Ruben Loftus Cheek and whatnot, but for me. He creates the tempo. You know his ability to press from from this area and and uh, really put pressure on the Liverpool defense when they're trying to play out from the back is going to be crucial. And, and also Liverpool likes to play from their from their fullback. So you know him being able to stop those areas uh, and and able to double up with these players over here is going to be crucial. And his and this is why I want him to play, to be honest. And this is why I want this formation because it allows for a extra man in midfield, and we don't have to too much, you know, depend too much on Aspilicueta and Aspilicueta and Reese James here. And um, you know, this this allows us far better uh, capability to to stop Liverpool. Uh, and we've seen it already this season that you know when we played four three three, we've been far competitive against Liverpool. Yes, Kante has played in those matches, or Billy Gilmore. But I think Kovacic and Jorginho could do a job here. They've done a job this season playing in a double pivot together as well. So, and Giroud and Pulisic, I think with Mason Mount, we can capitalise on any of their defensive lapses uh, that Liverpool could have. We've, they've struggled, to be honest. Uh, in Super Cup, we've seen the link up between Pulisic and Giroud in this formation. They've they've struggled um, their, their back four. So let me know what your thoughts are, guys. Now, this is the formation that I. This is my preferred formation that I'd go with, and my ideology behind it. Let me know what you guys think about the four-three-three or even the three-four-three. Let's have a good discussion about it. So yeah, guys, you've now seen a bit about the two formations. You've seen how important this game is. Look, overall, I feel I feel we can win this. We've been so competitive with Liverpool so far this season. You know, not. Any particular game, they've gone out and absolutely ripped us apart. Super Cup, we were strong against them, took them to the limits, probably should have won. Uh, unlucky in the penalties. In the second game, yes, they went off to a 2 0 lead, but we clawed back brilliantly with that Kante's goal. Should have probably had a draw. And then the FA Cup, we've comprehensively beaten them. So I'm very confident that we can go into this match knowing that we have everything to play for and they don't really have anything to play for. I'm very confident we can get them. It's just. I suppose now it's all in here for the players to think that this is it. This we got to treat this as a final. We win this, we go to the Champions League, and we can forget about the Wolves game. And wow, we can look back and embark upon this particular season and go, wow, what a fantastic season it's been. So yeah, guys, let me know what your thoughts are about the whole thing, the match, the formation, the lineup. How would you play this game? What does this game mean to you? If you've enjoyed this video, smash the like button, guys. If you're here for the first time, subscribe. And, and you know, press the bell notification to stay in touch with all my content. Until next time, see you.